I've got several of you comment and ask about the beavers. What about the beaver dam? Well, we hadn't been down there in a while, but the water's been up and it's got up, rained a lot, but it's beautiful. We're gonna go down there and check that out. But we have eliminated a lot of the beaver problem. I don't know if it's total or not, but we'll tell you about it in a little bit. But Chris and I are gonna go down there and check it. I got my rubber boots, my rake, in case I still have to clean it out some, but hopefully we get down there and that spillway is absolutely running through perfectly. Ready, baby? I suppose so. Alright. If I can keep from running over a ranger boat or whatever. God, what a day. Is this an incredible day? Mm -hmm. I mean incredible day. Let's get it on. See that five big pile of sticks we had over there from cleaning up that dam? That's all gone. He cleaned all this area up around here. It's beautiful. We'll mow all of this. I want to take you down and show you that spillway. I think we looked at it before, but some of you had been here with us. We added about uh, eight or nine thousand since the first of the year subscribers. If you have not subscribed to Jimmy Houston Outdoors, hit that subscribe button right now. Right now, hit that subscribe button. A lot of people watch is not subscribed. We need that for you to subscribe. I hear water running pretty good. That's good. Let's go see what it looks like. Absolutely zero. Absolutely zero clogged up. Now, some of you mentioned the rocks down there. Said the rocks is a problem. You had to get rid of the rocks, Jimmy. If we did not have the rocks, that would all wash away and it'd eventually tear this break wall up over there. Uh, is that cool or is that cool? You know, we got the only concrete that's got signs built into it. You see that right there? That's because we actually use highway signs. That's upside down, I don't know what it says. O, -O, -O N T. I don't know what that says. I can't read that. <laughs> uh, I think it's got something to do with Highway 20 or something, I don't know. Anyway, anyway. Uh, but you look at that, these rocks are there to keep it from washing out, keep this area up here from washing out. We have absolutely, absolutely zero logs and sticks and brush and stuff in there it's all gone it's all gone and the water's going through going through perfectly like it was you know what happened before you look over there and you see that's just regular just like a pond dam it's a 130 acre lake but the spillway that was over there that was out in the lake had a three foot pipe you know a three foot uh, diameter pipe running through it and that took the water out and what actually happened was that pipe as it ran down through the dam it's a big drop off to the bottom of that dam over there. That pipe rusted out and that water was rushing through there and those holes in there, eventually that water washed, 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 washed through all those holes that had rusted in that pipe. The pipe should have been concrete lined and it wasn't. The construction company that built the dam, that was their fault, their mistake by not putting a lined pipe in there. Just an error on their part. But uh, we didn't sue them, we didn't ask for any money or we didn't do anything. We just. Uh, I actually came over here and looked at it and that they're they're local here and they're good people and they just made a mistake that's all what can i say but uh but it blew about a 40 foot or 50 foot wide hole in the middle of that dam eventually it was like three four hundred foot long i think it's 800 foot from the one one end of this dam to the other but uh so we put this spillway in well i'll walk down to here i want to walk down here with you and show you exactly what this is because this spillway is like a big deal i mean this is a lot of concrete 
We had to pump the concrete from down below the hill up here. Real expensive, time-consuming job. We got this spillway finished the Wednesday before Christmas 2015. The Wednesday before Christmas. Christmas Day, water's running through this spillway. That's how close it was to the lake completely filling up before. Those rocks are doing their job perfectly. They're keeping anything from washing out. We got rocks built up on the side, all the way around, out in front. We got rocks here. A lot of people commented and thought the rocks, we had to get rid of the rocks. The rocks are there for a reason, and they're doing their job per perfectly. There's nothing washing out there. And believe me, we look at this pretty often. We got this weir up pretty high right here. We ought to put it down a little bit lower. It doesn't really matter. This time of the year, might ought to leave it up high. Come here, babe, let's screw this down just a little bit. She loves it when I jump across that. Where are you going, babe? Getting rid of your phone? You're not gonna drop it in the lake. You're gonna do what? We're gonna let it down a little bit. You have to do it a little faster than that. You're going, you're going way too slow. Maybe you're going way too fast. At, a little more. That's probably good. That's probably good. Lock it right there. Yeah. That way the water can flow over it, but uh, if the water gets up, it's about the level we want it right now. It needs to be just a little bit lower. Uh, it'll go down another uh, few inches, that's all. But uh, actually, you're supposed to walk across, walk across this uh, exit sign. I don't know what happens if you're going the other direction. Uh, you know, this is the exit. I don't know how you get in. You got to jump across to get on this side. Got to walk across this side. I obey the rules. That's why I jump across, babe, yeah. is I obey the rules. This is the exit only. only walk down here with me, and I want to show you really what this thing is. I don't know how far this is, but it's like 100 yards of concrete. It's amazing, and uh, actually, uh, big logs will even go through it. So we got a, we have a spillway system that that is just really second to none. We have a spillway system that will carry an awful lot of water. I bring my lawnmower down here, my X Mark, and my John Deere, and, and mow this. And you can see what we got going here, and this actually runs into a creek. We get down to here. We get down to here. You can see the date we finished, the Wednesday before Christmas. 12 22 15, Tyler and Kenzie. That's uh, Aaron's two, uh, two kids. Uh, Tyler's the son, and Kenzie's the daughter. Those kids are drag racing. Their dad, Aaron, Aaron Wells, is a drag racing champion. He was a champion this year in 2009, well, 2019 champion drag racer. He won the, the, the points title, won uh, quite a bit of money doing that. But you can see all the logs and stuff down there. And we got a lot of rocks down there too to keep from washing that out. That's actually going right down there and hitting the creek. Just hits the creek right off of our land. And uh, it's really a pretty nice situation to have that right there for sure. Those, uh, those, all those logs down there, all those logs down there have gone down, have gone down this. We do lose a few fish, but not many. It's amazing, most of the fish just don't go, don't go down this spillway. Obviously, once we got down here, we didn't need the big high wall like we had up there. Probably didn't need quite as big a wall as we got up there, but we wanted, had to get it big because we wanted to be able to carry a lot of water, and we do. Now you can see, you can see this is another place. Now all of these big logs came down this spillway. All of these logs came down the spillway. You can see right here how I got all these big boulders in here. I hauled all these big boulders and dumped them in. All in there, all those big rocks. And, and all of that's concrete from the, we emptied the concrete truck out. And uh, down there in the bottom in that little field down there is like a big pile of sticks. That's a pile of sticks that was sitting up there a minute ago. Took them and piled them up down there. We'll go ahead and burn those and get rid of them. This water's all running down the creek, end up in the Washita River, which is down about, no, not even a mile over it. All this water will end up in the river. 
but it's working perfectly. And here's what we did with the beavers. I got a really good friend of mine here, uh, Daniel Arms' uncle, as a matter of fact, Joe Arms, and Joe is like me. He would rather be outdoors than anything else in the world. And he's a government trapper for the agriculture department. That's his job. He's been doing it for like forever. I don't know. They've been, he's getting retirement age now, but he just loves to be outdoors. He loves to trap. He is incredible at trapping beavers, otters, coyotes, uh, anything that needs to be trapped, wild pigs. Uh, traps wild pigs by the literal hundreds here in Oklahoma. And, uh, and he works here in this area, and him and I have become really good friends. And uh, we have trapped, get this, 18 beavers off of this property, 18. Now we got another 77 acre lake over here. A few of those that come from over there, but not many. Nearly all of them came from right here. Do we have them all? Probably not, but we have captured most of the beavers that were here. So this kind of solved the problem for us. And uh, for those of you that thought that that was just mother nature damming it up, well, I just want to tell you in the kindest way possibly, it was beavers. <laughs> And I, I knew it was beavers that was bombing it up, bomb, uh, that was uh, damming it up because they would just have stuff intertwined down in there. They are architects is what they are. And it's just in their DNA to dam up moving water. With the river down there close by, there will be beavers come up this creek and come up here and try to do that again. There's absolutely no doubt about it. And uh, we'll probably have to trap a few more as time goes by. But this really solved the problem big time. The beaver dam problem, I cleaned it out three times myself. My partner, Steve and Aaron probably cleaned it out. I know they cleaned it out at least once, I think maybe twice. We would have had to do it over and over and over and over again. But you trap those beavers and they won't be here. Guys and girls, this has been a fun deal. Let's uh, take a ride and go back to the ranch. You see that wild turkey on the way down? You see that wild turkey? Yeah, wild turkey and a couple deer too. Let's head back to the ranch. I hope you enjoyed that video. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit that little bell so it'll ding and remind you and you'll never miss a Jimmy Houston Outdoors video. Thanks a bunch, guys and gals.